Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shortcuts. This is a series for you and YouTubers and vloggers alike who are looking to speed up their workflow and ultimately create better videos faster. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create an awesome logo opener that you can use on your YouTube channel or series. And I'm going to be using Red Giant Universe, Logo Motion, and Transitions. But first, let's have Dr. Gal explain what a logo opener is. Hello. So logo openers are to YouTubers as opening credit titles are to television. Logo openers are typically within the first minute of a show and they last between 3 to 20 seconds in duration. That's all there is to it. Thanks Dr. Gal, and to add to that, logo openers essentially can make your video look more professional and help establish your brand. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how to make one yourself. Here inside of my Premiere Pro timeline is the final logo opener I created using entirely Red Giant Universe effects. Let me play it for you. As I play it back, you can see the use of carousel transitions and stylized effects to move between the photos. I also use the universe logo motion effect to create the logo animation without using keyframes. And I use the universe swish transition to swish on the Premiere Gal text in an upward motion. The sound effects and the musical jingle that you hear are from the Pond5 library. So let's start from the beginning. Here I have a rough cut sequence. It contains the photos I used, my logo graphic on Video Layer 2, and the text Premiere Gal I created using the Essential Graphics panel on Video Layer 3. So to start, let's go to Effects and search for uni.carousel stylize effect and select all of the photo clips on the timeline. And let's double click to apply the carousel effect to them all. The carousel effect applies a classic look of vintage color cross processing, film fading, and vignettes. You can also see here in the program panel that it made the photo square. So let's change the frame style to be back to 16 by 9, which is the landscape format that I'm working in. And you can play around with further parameters to give it more of a customized look. So next, let's apply the uni.carousel transition to the front of the first clip. This transition mimics the appearance of changing from one slide to the next while stylizing your footage to give it a classic look. And then from effect controls, you can customize the transition. You can browse the transition presets to see which type of slideshow style transition you want. You can hover over them to preview. I really like the red frame, so I'm going to choose that one. You can also change the direction of the transition if you want, but I'll keep it at upwards motion. And I'm also going to keep the frame size to 16 by 9 and disable the color since we already stylized the clip using the uni.carousel stylize effect. So I'll keep the light leaks on and if you want to, you can customize the type of light style, opacity, flicker strength, flicker speed, and the color of the light leaks. So now that we have the style down, I'm going to select the transition and copy it from the timeline by pressing Command C on my Mac or Control C on a PC. And I'm going to select all the other points by holding down shift. And then I'm going to hit command V again to paste it all. So then we have a transition now at every edit point. And I'm also going to paste it at the end of the Premiere Gal text and logo layers. Now let's render it out and see how it looks. So the slides look great, but now we need to add some movement to the logo as well as the text. So from effects, I'm going to search for uni.logo motion and drop it onto the logo layer. Then you can choose some animation presets. Just like before, if you just hover over one of the presets, you can preview the motion that it will produce. I'm going to choose the spin preset. Then you can add further customization. For example, I'm going to check use clip length and this will tell the effect to use the current duration of the clip in the timeline and transition duration. You can update this number to determine how long you want the transition to be. So this will only affect the in and out exit times of the animation, not the length of the whole clip. I'll keep the transition duration at one second. 
Then another useful parameter to know about is scale. You can use this to scale your graphic up or down depending on the size you want. If you're interested in customizing anything else within this effect, you can go to the red giant effect user guide, which I've linked to below. And you may wanna add some motion blur so the animation looks more smooth and you can decide how much of a motion blur you want. I'm going to choose medium. Next, for when the Premiere Gal text appears, I'm going to search for uni.swish from effects and I'm going to drag this transition on to the beginning of this clip here and change the direction from effect controls to be up. So that way it swishes up onto screen. Now let's render it out and play it back for our final product. And you can see that it's looking awesome. And all we had to do was apply three effects, the carousel effect, logo motion, as well as the universe swish transition. So that's all there is to creating a logo opener. Again, you can use a variety of different Red Giant Universe effects to achieve a logo opener. And if there's a particular style or effect that you're trying to create, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. And lastly, if you have any particular questions about some of the parameters that you wanna customize, you can check out the user guide, which I've linked to in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time for an introduction on how to create quick and fast, stylish, eye-catchy titles using Red Giant Universe. That's it for Shortcuts this week, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.